Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I am going to be franken planning and setting up my 2022 social media planner. So I'm going to be doing the first six months of it just because I like to have about six months on the discs at the same time, especially because I'm combining two different planners, one for like more general social media content and one for my Etsy content. So I'm going to be combining these two planners. This one is the Flora and Fauna monthly layout, and then this one is the Bold and Blush dashboard planner. Both of these are from Happy Planner. They are classic sized, and I like them for very different reasons, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work through that in this video. This is my 2021 social media planner, at least the last six months of it. It's gotten kind of bulky, um, but I love this cover so much. So I'm going to do something like not exactly the same setup that I did in this one because when I set this one up, I also combined a monthly and a dashboard. And I didn't actually find that it was that effective for me. I had like Franken planned it so it was like connected like this with like goals and analytics before like jumping into the dashboard pages of it. But I'm thinking that I'm going to combine them in a different way this time where I have like the front section being my more general social media stuff and then the back section being those monthly, like the actual like monthly layout, not talking about like the calendar monthly layout, but like a monthly monthly layout. That's what I'm thinking this time around, but I'm going to try to get, get it on the discs and feel out like how it actually works in like in my hands. So starting with these two planners. I'd like to use the cover off of this one. It says stay wildly grateful and it has all these beautiful like butterfly moth things on it. I'm obsessed with the dividers in this planner. It is just like my favorite thing in the world. I wish this like planner design came in like a big sized planner, a big sized vertical planner so I could use it for like my catch all. But I think this collection was fairly isolated to this one planner. And my hope is that they they take the hint and they make an entire sticker book of this kind of design so this is going to be like the uh, the shell of my new planner it's on these hot pink plastic discs right now but i don't really do well with the plastic discs especially because i carry a backpack around i'm on campus most days so the plastic discs tend to get broken i'm gonna swap them out for gold metal discs and that'll look good with every single spread that i put on this like in this planner, uh, when I'm photographing them, I don't always want like hot pink discs in the middle of my spread, especially if I'm doing like a blue color palette or like something that's black and white. Like I want the discs to be able to go with whatever spread I open up to. So here are some gold metal discs that I just pulled off an older planner that I had on my bookshelf and swapped it out with plastic ones because if I'm not moving it around, I don't necessarily need the stability of metal discs. I've got a nice little book set up with the discs in the middle and the cover so I can start like moving things onto this. I don't need this little thingy. Um, I do want to use this cover page because I think it's a lot cuter than the one that's in the bold and blush one. Like this is cute, but this one has a bird on it. So obviously we go with the bird if, the, if a bird is an option. I'm going to start with the front matter out of this planner and it's the same like as the bold and blush one so like these pages are the same they're both very neutral on the inside i think most of the happy planner guts from this release are actually like identical with the exception of the dashboards so got my year at a glance which i like because i try to write down my social media analytics each week here as well as in the individual spreads and then we got January 2022. I'm gonna take January through June out of this planner and pop it onto this new one. And then I wanna find some kind of like bookmarks in my stash to like mark out the separate components of this. And before I get too far into this video, I do want to show you like what I mean when I say monthly layout. So not this monthly layout, but this monthly layout. So we have like monthly goals, check it off, top priorities, note to self, all that stuff. And then we have these. And when I Franken planned my last planner using the monthly pages, I actually took these out. And I regret that because 
I want to like use these for my Etsy shop where each sticker design gets its own little set of bullet points so that way I can like check off the different stages that it's undergone. So like the initial sketch and then the rendering and then the uh, like the background, the white background that like tells the Cricut where to cut and then having an Etsy upload and then doing the digital download stuff. So I think I'd like to do that for every single sticker design in this kind of spread and then use this for like my Etsy analytics. And the monthly is just going to be designated like this monthly planner, this flora and fauna planner is just going to be for the Etsy stuff. The bold and blush, which is a dashboard layout. And you've seen me use a dashboard layout on here before to do my social media planning. I'm not like changing it up crazy with that. Um, that is going to be my more like Instagram, YouTube planner. Yeah, TikTok will go in there too, but that's not like a primary platform for me. So I don't really need to think about that too much when I'm assigning like planners. I'm picking a planner based on like what I'm doing more regularly. And I think, I feel like these pages, like the Etsy pages should actually go in the back of the planner because it's one platform, whereas the other one is like three. And I feel like I'm going to use that one more, like I'm going to flip to it more. So it should be earlier on in the planner, if that makes sense. Um, but like, look at these dividers. They are so cute. I, I just love this. And I'm only using this planner for six months, but the hope is that I can, like, when I set for the next six months, I can just reuse this, like, second half of the planner. And if that's not the case, if there's one that comes out in the next release that I'm like, oh, I love that even more, which I don't know. I think it's going to be hard to love something even more than this. It has birds and butterflies. Then I can use these, like, untouched dashboards for, like, even wall art or cut off those tabs and kind of repurpose them as like dividers that aren't for months. Um, I've tried that before and I had a hard time doing it, but I've seen some really cool tutorials on like how to make the most of your dividers. So maybe I'll take a stab at that. So this is June and I'll show you the rest of the dividers in this planner before I put it off to the side, just so you can get a nice idea of like what is in this planner. So we got some butterflies in July. August is a bird. Then September is ladybugs, more birds. This is my favorite divider in the planner, so I'm kind of sad that this one's not making it in. But that's October, November, and December with some butterflies. So this is a cute planner. I really like it. Um, I had to go out of my way to go get this one because my Michael didn't carry it. I actually was visiting my sister who lives about an hour and a half away from me. Like our parents were going to be in town so I was like visiting her and the night before I went over to like go visit her, I was like, I'm going to just check the Michaels website for like the town she lives in. Um, it, they had it in stock. So I'm like, okay, order online, pick up tomorrow. I'm taking part of the day to like go to Michaels. If you're not going to Michaels in every single place you visit, what are you doing with your life? So I'm taking, again, the first six months of this Bold and Blush planner and popping it in front of the Flora and Fauna one. So this will be my more uh, general social media planning area. I'm slowly inching out of frame. Why didn't you tell me? Okay, so yeah, I like the dividers in here. They're cute. The typography is nice. But the main thing that drove me to selecting this planner over others and... I guess not the main thing because I think most of the planners in that last release lack that colorful box up there that I always fill in. I like the simplicity of this. I like the little polka dot accent. And when given an option between like all the different planners, I was like, okay, I'll go with the pink one because I feel like that's kind of what's expected of me at this point, just like pink. And I also like the fact that the tabs will match in these two planners. So they're both kind of like pink color palettes. Um, so when I'm looking at the planner from the side, they kind of look visually similar, but I think this one's a rose gold foiling on the dividers, and then the other one is a gold foiling, and gold foiling is my preference of the various foilings that you can get in a planner, but 
they're just on the divider so that doesn't that doesn't irritate me too much and i'm gonna pop this one over here i do like the ampersand motif that they're bringing into this collection i do have the sticker books that match so i will do a spread in the bold and blush planner with the bold and blush sticker books and then i've got the other half of this and the cover that goes along with it i went and pulled out some divider options so the first one i have is this one from the original miss maker collection it says too many crafts too little too little time I like the gold glitter specks on the clear background and the tab would look really cute at the top. What I don't like about this is that it's not like the full nine discs. In some ways it's nice because it's not going to cover up an entire spread, but this is what I have. This one is from like their wedding collection, which I'm not getting married anytime soon, but <laughs> hint, hint, Nick, if you're watching this. Um, anyway, um, so I have some of these wedding dashboards, which maybe i'll put them to a wedding planner eventually uh so i just love the florals in this collection and this one says after all soulmates end up always end up together not necessarily related to social media planning i just like the florals so i have this one i got this one but i also realized while i was sorting through the stash i bought these miss maker dashboards from the most recent release of miss maker and it could be fun for like my my social media planner to do like Miss Maker themed dashboards. The colors aren't exactly in the same palette, but they're really cute. So I think because this has three of them in it, I could use three and have matching tabs in the planner. So these are the three dashboards it comes with. We have this nice like blue one with the stitching pattern. Creativity is messy and I'm very creative. That's very true. I'm not the most organized person in the world. And then we have some scissors, which are cute. Um, I always forget to do this before I put them on the discs, and then when you have them on the discs, this becomes a lot harder of a process. Removing that clear film off of the top of your dividers that is meant to keep them from scratching each other in the packaging, but actually kind of makes the colors look more muted, uh, and you can see there's some like streaking on it. So I'm going to take these off of all three of the dashboards, and then I'll be back in a second. All right, so I peeled off all of that uh, plastic foil or covering on them, and I'm not sure that this one has it. I couldn't, like, get the film off of it, and I can't, like, tell. There was film on these two, and I messed up my, my nail in the process. I chipped it, and these nails were supposed to last me another week. This nail, nail polish, this gel nail polish uh, that I actually went out and got, like, my nails done for. But it's, it's going to have to last me through another week of videos. So when you see... Um, my one chipped thumbnail just know it was the miss maker dashboard that betrayed me so I'm putting this one to the very first week of the planner in that first section so that I'll be able to easily flip to this week and then I'm gonna divide them out so let's see here's January so the next tab is gonna come at the January mark to keep the two planners separate. And this is actually the right aligned tab. So I want this one here. Creativity is messy and I'm very creative. So this is gonna keep the two like planner parts separate. And then I'm gonna do the same where I mark this dashboard with the last tab. So three tabs on the top of my planner to keep everything nice and sorted out. I need to put my name on this first intro page. And I feel like to match this cover and also the hello up here by the hummingbird, these letters in the hot pink will look really good. So I'm going to try to work through as many of the partially used sheet as possible, but some of the more like common letters in my name, like the, the vowels, will have to be pulled from elsewhere. And I've, I've, like, pulled pages out of this book. I've put stickers back in here. It's a little bit messy, but it gets the job done. I assume I'm going to have a Y on, yep, the page I didn't use. That Y, okay. And I always start with the middle of my name because it helps me get things centered out. I know some people do the trick with the ruler where you, like, put them partially on the edge of a ruler and then you, like, put that on the page. I have always gone with this method and there's a line there i think i can get them pretty straight if there's a line on the page already i 
I do like the way these match up with the hot pink tones. They have like a a palm print on them, like a tropical palm print, um, which this isn't necessarily a tropical themed planner, but it's a little bit more abstract, so I think it still works. So we got, hello, this happy planner belongs to Caitlin. Using the sticker book from Capital Chic Designs, I'm going to put some stars around this. So these ones right here are really cute. They're gold foil, but they're just like the outlines. So I think these could be fun to work into my name page in this planner. You'll see me do this in like every single planner that I set up. I just kind of like to have a decorative name page. And like, this is something small that makes an impact in my mind, but it's not a necessity when you're setting up a planner to like have a bunch of stickers on this page. You don't even need to put your name here. Um, I mean, I recommend it because if you lose your planner, it's always helpful to know who it belongs to. I mean, knowing that this planner belongs to Caitlin's not really going to help anyone find me. Like a phone number might, but I make a lot of videos, so probably don't want to have my phone number on the internet like that. But these stars are cute and they just accent it. As I set up in my last video, I have my 2022 goals. So this is the year at a glance calendar, 2022-2023. So I'd like this to go here. If you didn't see this video, I set up all of my social media goals for 2022. I'm not really pulling a lot out of this planner because it's it's pretty like set like as just like spreads and whatnot. But I want this list I made of like ideas for possible reels or like TikToks. And I gotta work through this and update it, but I wanna move that over. And then I think the last thing I wanna do is like put some note pages in the back of this. I forgot to do that in my last social media planner and I always found myself needing more like filler paper. So some note pages at the end wouldn't be bad. The planner is getting a little bulky, but if I put like five pages back there, it's not gonna hurt anyone. So taking this guided happy notes that I've been using a whole lot of this week, and realized very late in the game that it's just plain dot grid paper without any kind of decoration on it whatsoever. I'm gonna just take a chunk of this and stick it in the back of the planner. Nice for making like lists and whatnot and then I can move them around as needed. I don't think I need like a little tab to mark this off. It wouldn't be hurtful to have one that marks it off. And if I'm doing Miss Maker tabs, I could do this one. So too many crafts, too little time with the gold glitter. And that'll just kind of keep things nice and orderly in the planner. I think that completes my planner setup. So I'm going to do a quick flip through at the end of this video. So we got gold metal discs. Stay wildly grateful. I love this cover so much. I was thinking it was going to be really hard to part with the cover that was on my old social media planner. But this one, this one is also very good. My name page with a hummingbird on it with my like name in hot pink with some gold stars. We've got 2022 social media goals, real ideas, and then the rest of the calendar of the glance. This is where I'm gonna write out analytics for each uh, Monday of the year. So going back and just doing like Instagram followers, YouTube subscribers, all those numbers. And then we get into the first section. So currently pages look like this in this planner. And then I have the dividers out of bold and blush. We got monthly spreads. And these are the ones that I use to mark out YouTube videos and where they're going to go in the schedule. Um, so I use that like a, as a month at a glance kind of thing for the YouTube schedule. I haven't decided what I want to do with the monthlies for the Etsy portion of this planner. It might be helpful to do like what day the sticker release is and when rep packages need to be set out and like other reminders like that. But Trying to keep those two separate. Then my first week of this planner, I love, love, love how neutral this is. Um, the square check boxes over here are so cute. And then this can be easily covered up. I just love this planner so much. So that's what all the weeks look like. They don't have a rotating colorful box or anything like that. Get into February. This one says be in love with life. March is just some polka dots. April, be daring, my darling. I was going to say be darling, my daring, but that's not what it says. It says the reverse of that. May says love these days. June, 
the love and light and then it goes back up to the top for the tab so i got my little divider in here to kind of keep these portions separated out got january find joy in the small things this calendar will probably be for like marking like release dates and stuff like that i could also do like analytics in here as well like sales goals and whatnot and how many orders I shipped out and like what days I went to the post office. Then I have my monthly goals. So I've been doing like a bunch of like stuff with the like monthly goals page in my other planner that I was like, I don't know if I really need this kind of information here because I'm kind of marking it elsewhere. But I want to specialize this area, like especially to like what I'm doing on my Etsy shop. So like over here, these tracker um, like things for habits. I could do again, like days that I go to the post office or days that I made a sale. So that could be what that is for. Um, I could, I've been using this list right here just to kind of keep track of like what designs I'm releasing that month. But if I'm using this next set of pages for that, I don't know if I'll do that. Um, like top priorities, I could do like my top three sellers. So really customizing this layout to my Etsy shop. And then I have these, but I'm not messing with these like too much. So these are what they are. There's some note pages in here too, which I like because I find myself often writing on like the pages of my daily planner, like, okay, I need to print out like 10 more of this sticker sheet or whatnot. So I can actually work through that now in this planner. And now for the dividers. So February is this with the butterflies and moths. March is this more abstract pattern. April someday is right now. May has some like mushrooms and like various insects but like cute insects. Um, and then June is this hummingbird. It is up to you to see the beauty of everyday things. And I guess this is rose gold foiling. I didn't realize that before. Still looks good on the gold discs because I want the gold more than I need like something that matches the dividers. Flipping to this last tab, this last Miss Maker tab, and I just have some plain note paper back here and then the back cover and the back back cover. And that's my 2022 setup for social media planning. I will be doing plan with me videos in this planner on my channel. So stay tuned for those as I use this lovely, very neutral layout, especially in the dashboard portion. So I'll be posting videos in this, but I'm very happy to like have this planner set up and just like ready to go when the page flips over to January the 1st. And actually I think I can start it in that last week of December just because of the way that the days fell. So, okay, this one is January, February. I could have just flipped to my tab. I put that in there for a reason. Yeah, the 27th of December. Okay, so sooner than I thought, but Social Media Planner is set up. Stay tuned for the next portion of my Franken planning, which is going to be my academic and my catch-all planner. And then I'll sum it all up with a planner lineup video that includes all the planners I didn't Franken plan. So there you have it. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me on Instagram at Caitlin Plans where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning.